Hi, I'm Father Frank DiCiano at Paulist Evangelization Ministries, and I would like just a couple of minutes of your time to talk about a new pastoral tool called Catholic Discipleship, Spiritual Exercises and Reflections. And this is a tool to help us Catholics actualize and appropriate more deeply dimensions of discipleship, dimensions of missionary life that can easily be part of the life of everyday Catholics. The theme of evangelization has been growing in the church for many years. In 1975, St. Paul VI put out an apostolic exhortation called Evangelization in a Modern World. He said there, we are called to evangelize others, but we have to continue to be evangelized ourselves. In 1983, St. John Paul II introduced the term new evangelization, and he used that throughout his ministry. In 1992, our own American bishops put out a plan and strategy on evangelization called Go and Make Disciples, and this was a call for parishes and Catholics to evangelize in our modern world today. In 2010, Pope Benedict called for a synod on the new evangelization, which was held in 2012 and in 2013. As the first of his writings, Pope Francis gave us the joy of the gospel, a clarion call for us to be renewed as missionary disciples. When we look at Catholics, what do we think of the state of Catholicism today? Are we Catholics only convenient consumers of the faith? Are we content with just being parishioners? Do Catholics think of themselves as disciples, and if they don't, why not? Are Catholics afraid of mission, so we keep faith only to ourselves? And very importantly, how do we draw younger generations to the practice of the faith today? These are issues that stand before us, and only by actualizing our sense of being disciples and being missionaries will we begin to address how Catholics can contribute to faith life today. So the directions that we would like to offer are these. Practicing Catholics are actually exercising important dimensions of discipleship as part of their faith life. But we don't notice this. We don't appreciate this because Catholics have defined their lives in terms of responsibilities. I have to go to mass on Sunday. And information, this is what the catechism says more often than we have defined our lives in terms of relationship and commitment. Catholics, however, can be helped to appropriate discipleship more fully by reflecting on dimensions of their Catholic faith life. And that is what this pastoral tool will help us do. Catholic discipleship is a tool that consists of 12 short units. Each unit has reflection, faith sharing, and a spiritual exercise. And through these, we elaborate dimensions of conversion, relationship, and encounter that are part of Catholic life, but Catholics often don't consider. Each unit has a spiritual exercise to reinforce in an experiential and prayerful way the theme that is being elaborated through reflection and writing. And each unit has a scriptural passage and discussion questions that can be used in small groups and also for personal exploration. So Catholic discipleship can be used as a small group resource. It can be used individually as kind of a prayer book and a personal journey, or it can be used as part of an adult faith formation series. At PEMDC.org slash disciples, you can find resources for developing a small group process. You'll find 12 PowerPoint modules that adult faith directors can use for larger group formation. And there'll also be forms to help parishioners sign up for this program. These units can be spaced throughout the church year for the convenience of parishioners, maybe two six-week sessions or three four-week sessions. The booklet is priced at $10.95, which is very reasonable, but it is significantly less expensive if purchased in bulk particularly in quantities over 100. For example, quantities over 250, each book is only 695. Each unit has a PowerPoint presentation, which faith formators can use to help orient larger groups to this material. 
and the books are available in English and in Spanish. So let's help our Catholic people experience and exercise their discipleship more fully, a discipleship that is already embedded in Catholic life, if only we can open that up for people. Let's move that discipleship more clearly in the direction of mission. Let's help our parishioners be more prepared and more articulate for living and sharing faith in this 21st century. Thank you so much for your time. God bless you.